Students, let's recite a poem and understand. There is a time to run and a time to walk. There is a time for silence, a time for talk. There is a time for work and a time for play. There is a time for sleep at the close of day. There is a time for everything you do, for children and for grown-ups too. A time to stand up and a time to sit. But see that the time and actions fit. A time means a duration in which all things happen. Time is the most important aspect in all of our lives. There is a time to run and a time to walk. For example, if you take part in the athletic competition, what you will do students? You will run. So there is a time you have to run and win and show. So sometimes you get late. What do you do? You run and you reach, try to reach on time. There's a time to walk. Students, when your mommy tells you to bring something, what you will do? You will walk and you will go. You will not every time you will keep on running. Or you want to go somewhere, what you will do? You will, you will walk and you will go. Everywhere you will not run. Or everywhere you will not walk. There is a time for time to run. There is time to walk. There is a time for silence. A time for for talk. Students, time for silence means in case when you go to the library or at a doctor, what you will do? You will keep silence because a librarian gave instruction to keep silence while reading or when you are at doctor's clinic, you don't make noise. Instead, you keep silence. You will not talk. There is a time to talk when you are with your friends and family. You will talk and share your feelings. So, everything has a time. There is a time for silence. There is a time for talk. When teacher asks a question in the class, you will not be quiet. You will answer the question. Yes or no? There is a time for work and a time for play. Everything has its own time. If you work at the right time, that is, you will study, complete your homework, as your father will go to office on time or at his work. Mother will complete her household work or you can go to play only after your work. So, you cannot play every time. You might have seen your mother or father goes to office on time to do their work. And you come to school so that is your work. But once your work is completed, you can play. Your mother allows you. Your daddy also allows you. Or they also joined you in playing any indoor games or outdoor games. There is a time for sleep at the close of the day. Close of the day means at the end of the day. Students. We go to sleep at the end of the day. After all our work, we take rest and become fresh. For every work has a proper time. Whether you go to school or you have breakfast, lunch or dinner, everything has a time. Whether you go to sleep also has a time. You cannot go to sleep at late night and then you get up 
late in the morning. So full schedule of yours will become late. So there should be a proper time for sleep at the close of the day. There's a time for everything you do. We cannot do any work at any time. For example, to wake up in the morning, to study, to go to school. For every work has its proper time to be done. For children, and for grown-ups too. There is a time for everyone. It is not necessary that only children or grown-ups or adults should follow a proper work times. Means both have to follow the timetable, whatever they do. A time to stand up and a time to sit while saying assembly prayers. We are not allowed to sit and recite the prayer or while singing national anthem. A time to sit at this moment when teacher is explaining. We have to sit and listen to teacher's explanation and give answer. So students, there is always a time to stand and time to sit. But see that the time and action fits. Basically, do the right thing at the right time. Yet the poet wants to convey the message that every small little action should be done at a proper or appropriate time. That's why it is said Time is precious. 